Hello and welcome to Mechanical Y. Today we are doing a micro lesson on the five fundamental properties of algebra, also known as the field properties. We are going to define all five properties for both addition and multiplication, and then we're going to discuss why they're useful. Okay, the first algebraic property is known as the associative property. And it has a part for both addition and multiplication. So for addition, the associative property states that if I have A added to the quantity of B plus C, I can rewrite this as the quantity a plus b plus c. Now the associative property for multiplication is equal says that if I have the quantity of a times b multiplied by c I can rewrite this as a times the quantity of b times c. Now the next property we have is the commutative property. Now the commutative property also has a part for addition and multiplication. And it says that if I have a plus b, I can rewrite this as b plus a. And for multiplication, if I have a times b, I can rewrite that as b times a. Now the third property is the identity property. And it states that if I take a and I add 0 to it, I keep A. And for multiplication, if I start with A and I multiply it by the number 1, I'm left with A. Now the fourth property is the inverse property. And for multiplication or for addition rather, it says that if I have a and I add to it the opposite of a, I get zero. And for multiplication, if I take a and I multiply that by the inverse of a or one over a, I get one, so long as a is not equal to zero. Now the fifth property combines both addition and multiplication and is known as the distributive property. And the distributive property states that if I have A multiplied by the quantity B plus C, I can rewrite this as A times B plus A times C. And these five properties, the associative, commutative, identity, inverse, and distributive properties are the five fundamental properties of algebra. And they have components for both addition and multiplication. Now these algebraic properties seem very simple. In fact, they seem almost trivial. However, something has to be remembered. Complex algebraic equations are often not solved in a single step. Multiple smaller, much simpler steps have to be taken to first break the equation apart and then simplify it into an easy to understand form. And even if you can't break apart that equation into a simpler form, things like the algebraic properties help understand what the equation is doing and how it's, repre how it's representing your data. And that's why it's important to understand these very simple but very important algebraic properties. 
And thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting, please like and share it. And please subscribe to stay up to date on future micro lessons.